was shaking so much, I was actually about to faint in the car. What am I going to do for my children to start over? So many questions this morning after a fire destroys a large portion of a suburban apartment complex. Not a single sprinkler in those 96 apartments, leaving several families in Prospect Heights having to start over. It took hours for firefighters to put out the flames. Here's a look from Chopper 2 at what the apartment complex looks like now. Firefighters out all night and all morning working on hot spots. Thanks for being with us. I'm Erin Kennedy. And I'm Marissa Bailey. CBS 2's Roseanne Tejas is at the scene. And Roseanne, they say they think this was an accident. They do say that, Marissa, but they're reluctant to say much more about the cause of this fire until they complete their investigation. They did tell us, though, that the design of this old building made it difficult to fight. Check out that roof, the way it jets out behind those shingles. There's a big space back there, and they say that helped fuel the fire. The fire spread quickly to three of four buildings, destroying or damaging 96 condos. Residents watched their belongings go up in smoke as more than 150 firefighters tried to douse the flames. Some escaped just in time. Smoke was coming down the hallway as we're walking out. Like a lot of residents who returned this morning, Kukla was hoping to get in his unit but was turned away. I was hoping I'd be able to get in to get my money, but don't look like I'm going to get in there for a while. Fire officials are investigating reports the fire was started by a child playing with matches and also conducting damage assessments. These folks have not lo probably lost anything other than some sleep, um, but the other three buildings, there are going to be varying degrees of loss. Two of the buildings are completely destroyed. Board up crews were out this morning to seal them up. Could be worse, you know, so that's the, that's the only, that's the only thing I say, okay, thanks God, I mean, things happen, but it wasn't too bad. Outside a Red Cross shelter where 19 residents spent the night, a mom cries after losing everything. At first we were like, oh, it's not going to spread because it's like a whole different building. But then they were like, oh, it's spreading to yours. We have to start at like a square one. Like, yeah, like start everything again. And, um, Offers apparently of food, clothing, and shelter are pouring in, the mayor tells us, from neighboring communities and also from all around the state. Live in Prospect Heights this morning, Roseanne Teas, CBS 2 News. Aaron, Marissa. All right, Roseanne, thank you.